530. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. I'm Christy Casciano. Wind across central New York creating tough conditions all day long, knocking down power lines, traffic lights, even scaffolding. That's right. Let's take a look at the latest power outages from National Grid across the region. Oswego County seeing the worst of it with uh, 2,500 customers without power. Restoration time? Not until tomorrow at noon. And Storm Team meteorologist John DePasquale is joining us live from Onondaga Lake Here we Park. Come. But John, yeah, here we go. The wind's still going strong there. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Yes, it is. Wind is definitely on the strong side. Camera shaking around a bit for sure as the wind is blowing very, very hard here on Dog Lake Park. Not as strong as Jim mentioned earlier today. It was a little bit gustier with gusts between 50 and 60 here near Syracuse, but definitely gusting still to around 40 miles per hour. And you can really feel it here, feel it here on Onondaga Lake. You can see the uh, ice here on the eastern shore of Lake Onondaga Lake, but as you go farther out, you got the uh, open waters and those white caps. Definitely impressive. Um, again, it is definitely gusty. And when I was driving up earlier today to Oswego with my photographer Maria, we kind of ran into the heavier band of lake snow, which was producing near whiteout conditions. Roads were snow covered and slick. It was definitely a little uh, uh, white knuckle riding here through the uh, 481 quarter between Phoenix and Fulton. Then we got out of the snow, got up to Oswego, and winds were much gustier up there, gusting 60 to 70 miles per hour. And they actually had an 80 mile per hour gust late this morning on the Oswego Harbor. We are, uh, it was crazy. The, the wind taking your breath away when you, or you stepped out in it, uh, kind of knocking you off your balance um, at times. It was really, really I intense winds. However, I will say this, there really surprisingly wasn't much damage. There were some large tree branches down here and there and a bunch of twigs here and there, but no significant damage, thankfully, in the Oswego area, at least where we were. Uh, but again, those winds were uh, very, very intense. And as Jim mentioned, definitely winds have been tailing off a little bit during the afternoon into this evening. And now we're talking about a little lake snow starting to kick up here in Onondaga Lake and anticipation of more lake snow sliding down into the Syracuse area over the course of the evening. Snow will be heavy at times and with the blowing and drifting snow going to make it difficult for traveling around the Syracuse area and the Finger Lakes as we go through tonight. So just be aware of that. If you're going to be heading out and about tonight at all, um, especially Eastern Finger Lakes, uh, just take it slow and be mindful of uh, varying road conditions and visibility thanks to the snow and blowing snow. Travel advisory in effect for Onondaga County right now because of the near whiteout conditions at times occurring with the snow and blowing snow. I'm going to toss it back inside now to Rod and Christy.